just like that. It's December. Good morning and happy Monday. It's like the weather knew. <laughs> the weather knew that we needed snow today because December 1st. That all happened overnight. Also, wrapping paper. <laughs> Some of it's in not such good condition, but this is the wrapping paper we pulled out from downstairs. Maybe we will do a little bit of wrapping later. And I just realized that I said happy Monday. That's a big fat lie. It's not happy Monday. <laughs> it's happy Tuesday. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna get to some schoolwork today and try to get that knocked out and hopefully I can um, do some Christmas gift wrapping and kind of figure out where I am. I feel like I have to sort of revisit my list of all things Christmas and see just what needs to be done to kind of finish off the present buying and just the Christmas prep stuff. We're gonna get some school done today. Um, Eli actually has a, an exam today, an online exam. Um, at around 12.30, I think. So I'll kind of have to gather the kids out of the room while he's doing that. Also the first day that we're gonna be doing our advent calendar. So that'll be a little bit later, but um, we have some very fun advent calendars this year for everybody. So I'm very excited. The kids are gonna be very excited because you saw them pick out advent calendars, but they actually don't know the whole story. Keep watching because I think it's gonna be fun. Anyway, let me go start on the day. I need a coffee. I've said all this stuff and I haven't even had coffee. Who am I? The empires of France, England, and Spain were no more peaceful, but instead of fighting to keep their colonies, these three empires so close together in Europe fought with each other. While English soldiers fought against the French in Europe, the English government also paid the Ir Iroquois of North America to attack French settlements in Canada. France and England finally made peace with each other. The settlers were ordered to stop fighting, so they did. side it goes on, right? Do you have a pencil? Can you grab your pencil out? You, do you remember which one is B? Which one is B? Yeah, and which one is D? That's right, so what's the name for B? Give me a, a name, big. a word, big. And what about for D? D, dog. Good, da, 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 da. that's right. So I want you to practice writing three lowercase b's and then three uppercase b's, okay? Go slow. So no, D. Uh, sorry, I said lower uppercase, lowercase, lowercase b, and <laughs> lowercase d. Go slow, so you make straight lines. Okay, good job. Good. Good. We're doing the second one. Yeah, start at the bottom. Nope. 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 Hold on. There's an O and an I. Moist. Yeah. Before animal. Why, who, while, follow, made, what, where? Nope. Where, where? This is the one you had. Were. That's right. That's right. You got were, it. Way. Go ahead. Water, word, one. Good. Okay. So you can color in another shell. 
Go ahead and start. Don't wreck the wheel. Read to me while I clean. Do not wreck the boat. When does the road end? Clean the boat. Learn the answer. Mm -hmm. Wear your coat. Did it in 48 seconds. You had 90 seconds to do it, but you did it in 48 seconds. So, good job. Knit. See? Nope, no, no, no. Knit. I mean K yeah. and I T. Me. Oh, okay. Um, K and E. Good. Doctor. It's okay. Light. L. I. Mm -hmm. G. Yeah. T. Yep. Sight. Uh, um, S, I, T, A, T. Yep, good. You did it. Good job. Oh. Okay, good job. Oh. Ow. <laughs> All of these are right, you're just missing one. Alright. Yeah, do you need to check this? Yeah, I can look at it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. overly excited because he's getting ready to get walked so hence the the barking I feel like it's been a while since I <laughs> checked back in just it was a whirlwind of homeschooling things like that and then Mike and I had some phone calls that we had to make and do and just it was just life life was happening and before you know it it is 345 <laughs> so we got everything done that's good and now I am sitting down to do a little bit of a wrapping. So I have, you can't really, okay, I'll just kind of show you. I have like tons of uh, uh, paper and stuff here. I have the bins and then I have extra paper there. And then I have like tons of boxes. Uh, I have some bags back there too. And you guys are actually sitting on a box that we'll eventually need. But you guys can hang out there for a while. I'm gonna start with the things that are like not in boxes because, oh yeah, what's that? Because I know what's in them. I have this running list on my phone of all the things that I need to do, need to get, and then as I purchase things, because like I said, I'm ordering a lot of stuff and then waiting for it to come in. I have like little ticks beside, you know, all the things for each kid and I check it off on my notes in my phone. When I have it in my hand and I wrap it, I put like an asterisk beside the, um, the item so that I know, you know, that everything is here, nothing is missing. Uh, because it's really the only way I can keep track with everything. So if you see me picking up my phone, it's so that I can double check that I in fact have the thing I need. We'll probably just chat a little bit if that's good. I hope you guys are enjoying, uh, how cute is this paper by the way? <laughs> my kids are obsessed with The Mandalorian. Do you watch The Mandalorian? A, <clears throat> do you love the Mandalorian B? And or are your kids family obsessed with Mandalorian? Because mine are, they just can't get enough. And um, it's all we talk about, 
all they talk about actually because I haven't watched any of it at all. I think I've said this before, I don't hate Star Wars. I'm just kind of neither here or there about Star Wars. So I wasn't like, you know what I mean? I wasn't like crazy about having to watch Mandalorian. So Mike, it's kind of his thing with the kids. He watches it with the four older kids. Avia and I really don't watch it. Like they haven't watched the Star Wars movies or anything like that. It's a bit much for them. Um, in fact, Shiloh and Grayson just started watching them this year. Um, so they kind of like, like watched all of them right before, I think they finished watching all of them, like all the Star Wars movies right before Mandalorian came out. So they're very much in the Star Wars zone. So when I saw this paper, I was like, yes, they will love that. <clears throat> and then I also said, I think I showed it in a vlog that we have our Olaf blow up, um, Christmas thing out on our lawn, our Olaf one, and then we also added to him, well, added to the scene, a Baby Yoda. And I know it's the child, so don't come at me, but Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda to me. Um, what else, what else? Yeah, so I'm pretty much done. Well, I'm almost done, I'm not, I mean, I guess I could say I'm pretty much done because uh, now it's just kind of the odd thing here and there. But like, I would say the majority, let's put it this way. If by some crazy chance, although not that crazy considering the craziness of this year, I couldn't go out and get another thing, I would be okay. Now, I say that although I haven't really done much for my cold on, I need to get a pen. Um, I'm always a little late uh, with Mike because we like just came off of his birthday. And so I spend so much, you know what I mean? Like so much of my energy is spent with uh, preparing for his birthday, which is November 27th, that uh, I have to get in the headspace of Christmas. And I always say this, but I feel like I use up all my good ideas. Sorry for the wrestling. I use up all my good ideas <laughs> for his, uh, birthday present that then Christmas comes and I'm just like at a loss of what to get for him. So um, having a little trouble with that. I don't know. It's something about guys. I would say guys are definitely harder to buy for in general. I always have a hard time because he doesn't really want anything. He doesn't really ask for anything and so if you have any suggestions let me know I don't need anything really either of us it's fun like I never want to forego giving Christmas presents to each other not because I hope I cut this paper okay <laughs> not I cut it too small uh, again not because and people say it's the thought that counts but for us anyway I think look we think it's important for the kids to see us exchanging gifts and to want to exchange gifts with each other it not it doesn't have to be elaborate it doesn't have to be anything like that um and and i'm not even making a comment on people who don't like if you don't do that that's okay <laughs> you're not a bad person i'm just saying that i don't you know what i mean like i just i i think it's good for the kids to see that you know even as the years go by that him and i want to still participate and the fun that we have in exchanging gifts with each other. Um, the kids are always very concerned about how many presents each of us has under the tree. Like, like meaning, you know, obviously they will usually have way more presents to open than him and I do, which is how I want it. But they're always very concerned about that. So anyway, it's very exciting because we have, you know, the start of Advent, like I said, today our Advent calendars and everybody picked out their chocolate calendars for this year this is the worst most awkward like don't you love those like oddly shaped um presents also not just oddly shaped you know the ones i'm doing them right now and i have four of them to do so yay for me you know the ones where like there's like a toy or something and half the toy is in the box but like part of the toy is not 
in the box. Does that make sense? It's just more like attached to a box. So now you're like wrapping around the actual toy is like the worst. And I have too many of these to do. So this is as good as it's gonna get. You know, that's the other thing. When I was, um, you know, like a new mom. Oh no, <laughs> I ripped it. There's a pokey part, do you see? Right in the middle, do you see that? Oh, there was a pokey part, darn it. See, you know what I do? If this was like me 10 years ago, I would rewrap the whole thing. Not the new and improved gen. I take a piece of tape and I put it right on that little piece and I just tape it down. And you'll never know. There. Yeah, I was gonna say, not because I don't enjoy it or because I love Christmas, I love all things Christmas and I love wrapping presents. I'm trying to not even poke a hole with my pen because now there's like space, I don't know. Um, I would take forever to wrap presents. Like they had to be just perfect with all the perfect little things. And again, I'm not knocking anyone who still does that because good for you. But um, when you're wrapping for this many kids, plus it's like, I, I just, I don't want to sound like a Grinch cause I'm like, so not, I'm just saying that like, I don't know. I think, I mean, when I look back now, you know, it was like, I wanted people to ooh and ah over my fantastical wrapping job and it's just, really Jen, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, so now, like I said, I, I do my best. I definitely do my best and I want them to look nice, but I just work with what I got. And I don't think I've ever rewrapped a present for the last, well, 10 years at least, yeah. So the kids picked up their chocolate calendars and then um, Mike picked his out too. He's very excited about his and I, well, here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with you. I picked out, <laughs> I picked out a different kind of advent calendar that is not chocolate and I'm very happy with the one I got. So like, I still want it. Like I've wanted it for a while and I still want it. So it's not even that I'm saying that I regret getting it. What I do regret though, is not additionally getting a chocolate calendar. <laughs> because I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, why was I thinking that I didn't like, I don't understand what was wrong with me. Because I mean, it's not like, I mean, I know you can get fancy ones. Mike got a little bit of a fancier one. But I was like, you can get like a $2 chocolate calendar, who cares? I don't know what, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I didn't pick one out. So not necessarily for today, <laughs> but I may just have to go grab myself a chocolate calendar to go with my other calendar. And when you see what it is, then you'll understand. But like, I don't know. And why he didn't say to me, Jen, get one. Just get a chocolate one for you too. I don't understand. But anyway, yeah. No, you can't come in. I'm wrapping presents. What do you mean for Christmas? Yeah, I mean for Christmas. That's so nice. That's so nice. Thank you. I'll let you know when I'm done, okay? I love you. She said that's so nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I can't wrap any more of those. I need a break. Oh look, let's go to something that's even more fantastical to wrap. Seriously though. <sighs> Uh, what should I use now? I got such fun paper. I got this peanuts one too. I was just wrapping with the uh, LOL and we also have this Christmas peanuts paper, which is also fun in case you're wondering. <laughs> These are those Barbie reveal things. I think they're gonna like those. And I still have to put up the Second tree, you guys saw I put a tree up in the in the kitchen and I'm obsessed and I'm like totally we're doing that every single year from now on. I love it. It's absolutely magical now in the kitchen. And I like that it's just plain. I was thinking, well, I was thinking of putting ribbon on it. Sorry, let me just that was such a good cut and then I messed it up at the end. Um I was thinking of putting ribbon 
on it, like a burlap -y kind of ribbon. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to. I might still, but I mean, it looks nice the way it is. Honestly, I feel like if I put ribbon on it, it's just going to get bumped. And it's going like, to be me fixing the ribbon like every other day and getting frustrated about the ribbon. So I may just leave it off. But I think it looks nice with just the white lights. I love watching other videos when people chat and rap, but I can't concentrate. And I'm going 10 times slower than I normally would. So I'll check back in in a little bit. Why are you sticking your hands through there? But I'm still wrapping presents, woman. I won't get confused. I won't get confused. What if I accidentally wrap your hand? Are you out? <laughs> are you just waiting out in the hall for me to be done? You want to give me a hug? And a snuggle? Well, that's pr that's pretty nice. But are you going to just wait out there the whole time? Yeah. Wow. What if I take super long? I might. I, have a lot of to wrap. I know. Don't you want me to wrap so many? Not really. You can do each a day. Oh, I can do each a day? Yeah, you can wrap a present. Right. Four. Yeah. Hey, what if I don't see it in the blue light? What if I have blue Okay. I gotta go to Mount Dunn. I probably could have done more, but <laughs> this is the pile behind the door of the bathroom of all the things that I've been wrapping and I'm just kind of like reusing boxes. So everything that's in these boxes has been wrapped. So yeah, I did quite a bit. I mean, I didn't do all this today, but I did like this box and that box, I would say full of stuff. So that's pretty good. I would have done more, but the little woman needed affection and hugs and love. So, and also <laughs> just at the right time when I was finishing up, um, Mike came home and he brought me a, what did he bring me? A caramel brulee. So the Wi-Fi better. I don't think the Wi-Fi is better. Wow, why are you throwing my shoes to the ground? Shoes are they for me? No, they're for me. Let me open it for you. Anyway, the little woman's all hugged and snuggled out. Do you still need me to snuggle you or are you good now? I just want you. You just want me? That's her telling you that she doesn't want you, Eli. This keeps happening. I don't know. With a knife? I don't know about that. I ordered myself some actual <laughs> Ugg boots, <laughs> like actual ones. I've never owned the real ones I've owned. The closest ones I've owned like to it are the Bear Paw brand. They were actually good and I've had them for, gosh, probably over five years, like actually probably five years. He stopped throwing my boots on the ground. <laughs> Uh, the seam that like between the sole of the shoe and the shoe, you know what I mean? Actually ripped a hole in it and I was just like... <laughs> but they did last me quite a few years, so I figured if they would last me a few years, then pay a little bit more for the like authentic ones, I think I'm gonna get... Well, for sure yeah, I'll get it. <laughs> I came into the girl's room because um, it's, everyone is watching. Paw Patrol, but I just wanted to show you guys not that you've never seen Ugg boots before But um, I was a little bit concerned because some of the reviews like I said I've never had the actual Ugg boot some of the reviews said that that they felt or that they fit um, kind of snug So I was a little bit like uh, But they don't I they fit perfectly like I just I didn't have to go up a size or anything And then I got was the um, the shorter you can actually get really really short ones. These are actually the waterproof version of the Ugg. And they have this like extra sole that says Arctic Grip Wet Ice Tech. <laughs> For anybody who's new here, we live in Canada. <laughs> and uh, 
Everything that you think about Canadian winters is pretty much true. It can get very, very, uh, well, you guys saw the snow today, but it can get very snowy and very icy. So this is not so much like my, uh, you know, like winter boot per se. I have like an actual winter boot, you know, but sometimes it's like a bit much to throw that on when you're just, when you know you're just going to be like in and out of the car or going into a store or something like that. I'm very happy with them. Yay. And I got them on sale. Um, I ordered them from Brown's Shoes um, and they were on sale. I think they were 20% off or something like that, which was an extra bonus. So I'm very happy. I showed you guys the girls uh, tree, right? Oh, and then I put these lights on for them. Look how cute! They're actually like a pinky purple, like that's the actual color. It's so weird how the camera... It's so weird. Anyway, so they have these, which is fun. Pretty sure I showed you the older girls one that they kind of decorated themselves. And then the boys finally put up theirs as well. So there's is the boys. They have just like silvery um, gold ornaments. And then they have this like silvery gold garland. They also, <laughs> they ran this multicolored string of lights around the top of their room. Last year, uh, I think last year they had it around their, um, like on their bunk beds, but they were saying it was like too hard to sleep. <laughs> I was like, you know, you could just unplug it, but they like kind of having it. It's very festive-y, so they have it around the edge of their room. So, so fun. What? Half of them are Avengers. Avengers. Me. Stay there. Me. I sit first. Well, everybody opens at the same time, so <laughs> don't get any ideas. Because that is the fun of Advent. Me. They're always in the same place every time. It's in the same place every year. I know where it Did is. you? Okay, so let's see. So Grayson and Finley yeah, yeah. and Eli got Avengers. Avia got Toy it? Story. Everly got Paw Patrol. Aww. Shallow got Barbie. So everybody start looking for their number one. Don't open it yet. I found it. I found Don't open it yet. Have you seen Dad's? Wow, what? yours. What? Dad, you, you like did Avengers? You, did you guys see mine? No. This is the one I got. Twenty. Oh, oh, Twenty four days of tea. Open it up, I want to see. Isn't that cool? Wait, Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Look at that! Now I want to like hold, I want to keep it out. It's very decorative. Wow. That's like There's a game on the Maybe it said it's like heaven. Okay, ready? On the count of three. One, Wait, two, three. Can I open my number you one? Wait, no, you're supposed to start on the biggest number, right? No, no number right? one. Where have you been? Just do number one. Hey, you know, guess what you got? You got. Don't, it's for, uh, Don't it's for it away. Don't give it away. I love circle. Who'd you get? It's Iron Nobody. Man. Oh, you got a little, like a little ornament. Nice. You got a tree ornament. Avia, what'd you get? I what? got him. But... Buzz? Okay, what did you Avengers, what the Avengers people get? Who's that? How can you tell? <laughs> they all look the same. Daddy, open yours. It's a soccer ball. Oh, look at that. There's two. Oh, one for me and one for him. <laughs> me and mom are sharing. Okay, let's see what I get. Ooh, a gold thingy. Does it tell you the flavor? I feel the like without looking at it that it looks like forever nuts. Wait, what? I think it's forever nuts. Who? Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty. Doctor Strange. Um, oh, are you trying to guess Doctor Strange? So, mom and dad thought it would be extra fun to do something a little bit different <laughs> this Advent <laughs> season. Sit down in your chair. Two elves on the shelves. Sit really? in your chair. Really? Yes. <laughs> so, crazy. an elf and a reindeer on the shelf. Sit in your chair. Well, Sit in your chair. Easy. Sit in your chair. Please, uh, presents I early. I like this. I love presents early. early. Woohoo! December the first. Is this every year? Is this going to become a tradition? Woohoo! No, no it's tradition. this year for now. Hot chocolate okay. every single day. Wow. So Avia and Everly. Avia and Everly. Whoa. This is a great tradition. The Lego friends. The little they girl. Girl. And everybody else. Oh, I'm gonna get the 
veins in his neck are like crying. Oh, 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 Yes, you get to do it. Hold on, wait until everybody is ready. Cool! Go ahead. Oh, yay, I get this thing. Lego! Yay! Lego, my ass. You'll never get to know how to put it together. Oh, it's not like thing. It does work. Did you do number one? Good job! So you get to build it. Do you see? And on the inside of the flap, it shows you the picture of what it is. It's like a little chip thing. Cool! Shy, we can use them in the, like, spot. I got, I, I can open that. <laughs> Ow! Daddy, can you open up her package? Yep. I did so good today, like. Yeah. Oh. Well, me. Well, you're. I've always wanted wow. one of these. Wow, Beverly, it has a hairbrush. Sorry. Can you see? Can you Oh, hair is falling Mommy, I can't picture anything. Oh, no, I know, I know. What Did you guys see that the Razor Crest is one of the ships? Yeah. This is so cool. I'm going to be awesome at this. Let me see. You did such a good job. That's Emma. Her name is Emma. Hey, I have an Emma, but she has different Yeah. Shala, did you make yours already? Yeah, I know her head always falls off. Nice. Finn, are you done yours? <laughs> there, you got it working. Oh, awesome. Bye, everybody. Oh, wait, there mommy. Stop. Wait a second. Uh, I wonder away. if I can break through this the star from by here. By the way, this is the entire ship, but I'm super far away. So it's small. It's it was small even when you were close up. See? I'm super far away. I'm giant. The ship is flat right here. What is she wearing? Let me see. Is it pajamas? Her yeah. hair fell off. Yeah, that happened. Uh, I finally figured out <laughs> my tea. By reading it? So I thought I looked on the back. Well, I did look on the back and I saw it said David's tea and it said, uh, and I saw the French, but apparently there was English as well. So it's called, this one's called Let It Snow and it is a green tea. What was the French? Je suis neige. Je suis le pomme de neige. Was it, doesn't that just mean it's winter? Just saying. Are you going to have some with me? No. Sounds good. But you shared your lint with me. What's going to happen on the days that you don't have uh, Double two? Are you still going to share? I'll let you figure that one out. <laughs>